Good morning, y'all, and welcome to another fun-filled week in New Mexico. We had a bit of a winter weather advisory last night, and we received some winter mix. We are actually about eight miles from the Continental Divide Trail outside of a town called Pie Town, which is a fantastic place to get pie if you need pie in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but we were leaving the desert because it's gotten quite warm down in phoenix and at sea level but up here we're at almost 8,000 feet and this little storm system dropped us a beautiful little tree we have a little more precipitation coming today which could lead to quite an adventure of getting out of here because you can't tell this isn't exactly the most established road i've ever driven on Let's enjoy this week, y'all. Hang on. It's going to be fun. I promise. Ain't that pretty? Guys, all of that beautiful snow that we saw this morning has melted. It's still pretty chilly, but honestly not as cold as you would expect it to be with all of that snow and hail that we've been experiencing. We have decided to take a little bit of a walk, mostly to check out the soil and see if we're stuck here or not. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a problem. Apparently it takes a lot more water than that, Kelsey. Drive the cracker barrel out here. <laughs> I think we'll be able to get out of here whenever we decide that we want to, but I gotta tell you guys, I am in no hurry at all. This place is absolutely incredible. Around every corner, there's something else beautiful to see. Like this. We can't stay forever, but I'm not leaving today. Hey, I didn't know this was here. <laughs> Mountain snow in the springtime, y'all. Boy, that's pretty. <laughs> Those clouds are sure scary looking. Ooh. Oh wow, it just keeps getting better, y'all. Y'all, Shane is starting his morning working very hard trying to get a good picture of an elk that came to visit this morning. It looks like he might be having some success out there. Either way, it's providing me some pretty great entertainment <laughs> out my bedroom window. <laughs> Boy, I love that guy. <laughs> hey, you know, I got out of the house kind of early this morning because we could spot a big elk eating over there. I tried to get out and take a picture, but you know, it bolted. Like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> My mission this morning is to once again survey the land. It rained a lot last night, so the ground's much wetter today. Go check out our wash and see how that is going because the clouds cleared and as you can see there's a bit of snow up there on those hills let's go see well i didn't end up finding something to entertain myself today i worked on the love hut a little bit it's a never-ending list of things but the big one i wanted to accomplish today was 
I installed some weather stripping on this door so we get a nice seal there. And I also did a couple more things to the electrical system. There's a lot of electrical on this wagon. But I think that's gonna be about it. We're gonna wake up in the morning and hit the old dusty trail. We got places to go and things to see y'all. But look at these mountains one last sunset. They're so bright at this particular time of day. Just beautiful. Guys, the time has come for us to say goodbye to this beautiful spot. At least for now, I think we'll probably make it back to this one. We've got all of the instruments laid down, pots and pans strapped, and all of the latches latched. And I love how it is ready for a new adventure. Are we? We're in the Zavola National Forest. Isn't that where we woke up this morning? Yeah, but this is New Mexico and that shit is huge in this state. But unfortunately, we've been driving all day and sunset is not too terribly far away. And we are not where I wanted to be. So we gotta camp here. I'm excited about it. It's pretty. Yeah, I don't have any problem with staying here. That may Well guys, I believe we've done it. I call that a pretty great place to call home for the night. With no one around for miles. And look at that view. Oh wow, that's gonna be incredible to wake up to. The Cibola National Forest, y'all. This might be a new favorite. Oh, good morning, everyone. You know, guys, New Mexico has been really, really awesome to us this time through. We have found some incredible boondocking spots in the Cibola National Forest. But today it is time for us to say goodbye, which is a little bit sad, but this Texan is always happy to visit the homeland, even if it's just for a short trip. <laughs> Shane is busy getting the love hut all packed up and ready to go, and I think it might just be time for us to hit the road. Let's see him get down this hill, y'all. That wasn't so bad. It was much more dramatic backing up it. Hey, wait for me. For real, Shane, wait for me. <laughs> he thinks he's being funny right now, y'all. See if y'all can see them. Well, they're gonna run for me. Oh, I love deer. They're so big up here. Where I'm from, all there is is whitetail. Those mule deer look like horses, man. 
Okay. Back to driving. Oh, guys, what a pretty drive today and a pretty destination that it brought us to. We are in McCormick Canyon outside of Amarillo, Texas, enjoying a part of the great state of Texas that this Texan has never actually gotten to see before. Oh, wow. So guys, we found ourselves in Canadia, Texas, and we stopped in at a little local diner to uh, get some lunch and overheard some locals talking about the storm chasers that are on their way here to set up in their parking lot because there's apparently major tornadoes coming tonight. I don't know uh, what you guys think, but I don't think the Love Hut is prepared for tornadoes and large hail and large winds. And they're not only coming here, but they're coming exactly where we were planning on going, crystal digging in Oklahoma today and tomorrow. So, Shane is hard at work trying to figure out somewhere safe for us to go. What do you think, babe? Are we gonna blow away tonight? It's looking possible. Ugh. Look at her out there. Commitment to making a video for you guys. We're gonna use the truck as a, a wind sock. Basically what has happened is we're out here at a place called Lake Evans and I traveled due north to hopefully find a sweet spot in between the storm system so that they're gonna cross over us and we're not really gonna catch any potential thunderstorms or tornadoes. Bet it'll be rocky here though. Well, to continue the saga of trying to cross Oklahoma and not get wiped out by tornadoes and, you know, tornado season, <laughs> we have gotten ourselves here. And the storm was supposed to go around us. And I was very excited about it. But now, as I continue to watch the radars, it's headed towards us. I can't really drive in this because this is about 25, 27 mile an hour sustained winds. And that's just a little too heavy for this thing. So we're going to keep an eye on it. It's parked pointing into the wind. So I'm going to step out from behind the love hut so you guys can see. Ah. The wind's coming from this way. So at least we'll be able to keep an eye on it.
morning, y'all. That is a beautiful sunrise. The wind finally died down last night, and we were able to get some rest. Today, we're gonna be traveling further east. We'll see where we end up. Guys, we obviously did not blow away in the wind last night and are pretty grateful for that. We did wake up this morning and start beating the pavement and have made it about halfway across the state of Oklahoma and are pretty excited about where we have wound up. We are heading in to the Great Salt Plains to do a little bit of crystal digging. I think we're about to go find some pretty things in the ground, y'all. We have made our way to uh, the Oklahoma Salt Plains in the Selenite Crystal Digging Area. So it's completely free to come out here during the day and park and come out to this small portion of the nature preserve that it looks like they change from time to time. And dig until your heart's content. Shane's already got a pretty deep hole going, so uh, let's see what we find. You see anything yet? I don't think so. The place is otherworldly. Kelsey's found herself a moon crater. It doesn't take very long find something it's kind of hard to clean them in this water because it's water that's coming in from the lake so it's there's one. Here's one. the water fills in the sand from the bottom so as you dig down it fills up wild just wild probably go find somewhere with hot showers. I'm uh, not usually one to encourage paying for camping, but uh, I think tonight might be an exception. Yeah, fortunately there's a state <laughs> park just across that lake over there. We gotta drive around it though. So that means you gotta get inside so we can go. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna put a tarp <laughs> down first for you. Good grief. I'm no better. <laughs> Well, as y'all can see, I'm nice and showered and in a parking lot. <laughs> so we've made our way to the state park that is on the eastern side of the lake that is in between the, the salt plains in here. There's three different campgrounds that you can camp in inside of this park. And one of them is an equestrian type and that's up at the top of the hill. This one is mostly tent camping with kind of a parking lot vibe going on and there's one spot that you can kind of see the lake from this one features the spillway to the dam there's another campground on the other side of the dam which would be great if you're here to fish and they also have a shower there but it was quite full and we don't really like neighbors if we can help it and then there's also another tent camping spot right down the road but once again there was people there and we decided to come back here to the parking lot camping type vibe because all these spots were unregistered. This park features the ability to use a QR code to register your camping spot, which means you could do it before you get here so someone like us can't just swoop in and take it. 
I kind of miss the old school way of the Steel Rangers, as they're called, where you shove the money in the envelope. Ugh, the Jetsons have ruined it all. But look at our spot. Ain't it cute? At least no one can park next to us. We took advantage of the other campground's water to clean ourselves up last night. But this morning, it's time to clean these crystals up and see what they look like. Oh, I'm excited. Hmm? Oh, that's fun. I'm going to be able to make some really cool jewelry out of this stuff, Shane. That's a fun little cluster. Wild. We have a lot more to clean. Whoa, that's awesome. So guys, the more we clean these, the more we realize just how fragile they are. And as much as we want to see all of them right now, I think we're gonna just pack them in their sand and let them ride for a little bit. They're precious, we don't want them to break. But if you keep watching, eventually you'll see them again. I'll yeah. Come. <laughs> what do you guys think? That'll make an adorable necklace. Welcome to Green Acres, y'all. Wow, that's creepy. Guys, we've got a lot of driving to do today, but before leaving the area, we wanted to check out our surroundings a little bit and enjoy these absolutely beautiful trees and marshlands. Right now, we are taking a hike on what they call the Eagle Roost Trail. Now, on our drive here, we actually did get the crazy rare experience of seeing two eagles meet or mate in the sky above us. And uh, I am very sorry I wasn't able to get that on camera for you. Hopefully, we'll get to see some more of them while we're out here. Though. Boy, this is pretty. For any of you that don't live the way we do, I bet you wonder how we get water. We don't have a tank like a normal RV does. I utilize what's called jerry cans. So this is a six gallon one. I usually put five gallons in it. We currently have three and we just made room a few weeks ago for a fourth one. And we fill them with filtered water from these machines you see all around the country because we drink most of it and we bathe in it as well. I don't really like using municipal water out of a, a little blue spigot 
because sometimes it can taste a little funny. But the reason I'm making this video is I've stopped at a million of these machines and I've never seen one of these. We're in Oklahoma. I'm not sure what town this is. But this is to dispense corn. It's bait for deer. I take it they take hunting very seriously up here, y'all. Oh, guys, that was a long time to be in the truck. But we made it to a camping spot before that sun went down. Luckily, the days are very long, so we've still got a little bit of time left. We wound up in Wagoner, Oklahoma, in a paid campground. It's a little crowded and definitely not our style, but that's okay because it is the halfway point between where we were this morning and where we got to be tomorrow. For now, I think we're going to enjoy the solitude inside that house and possibly cool off in that lake. Because believe it or not, y'all, we started off our week with snow. But it's 83 degrees right now.